Today, I'm setting out on an extremely difficult challenge to survive 100 days of hardcore Minecraft in a cave only world. I'll start underground with nothing, and even if I wanted to, I could never go to the surface. Since in this world, if I see the sky, I'll instantly be killed. This makes getting simple things like wood, food, and even dirt a huge challenge by itself. Now, not only do I have to survive 100 days down here, but I've also set three goals for myself build an awesome cave base, get full enchanted netherite armor and tools, and defeat every boss in the game. The Ender Dragon, the Wither, and the Warden. This is 100 days in a caves only world, and the story begins on day zero. Okay, here we are. Um, what is this? Oh, it looks like we're above a giant lush cave. How can I get down here without dying? Oh, there's so many mobs. I'm gonna try to jump into one of these water pools. Okay, here we go. Oh no. Oh, okay, run, run, run. Ah. <laughs> oh no, there's creepers and skeletons. I don't know where to go. Wait, why are there so many mobs in here? Aren't lush caves supposed to be safe? Oh my gosh, everything is chasing me. Oh no, I'm on fire. I'm definitely gonna die. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh, I'm on one and a half hearts. What do I do? Oh no, I'm totally dead. The spider's chasing me. Wait, oh no. I don't have any food and I'm stuck down here. Already, this is way harder than I thought it was gonna be. I need to find food as fast as possible. Okay, it looks like we have more lush cave down here. Let's see, I hope there's no mobs down here. One shot by a skeleton and I'm instantly dead. All right, we have some glow berries. I think that's gonna be my only food source for now. Oh, and it only healed me up one hunger point. <laughs> I need more glow berries. Finally. Wow, that was not a great start, but I'm still alive, so that's all that matters. Okay, I guess right now, priority number one is to find some food. I already have some seeds, but I'm gonna need some wood to plant them. So I guess my second priority is to also find some wood. And down here in these caves, that's not gonna be easy. Oh gosh, there's more mobs. I need to make sure to heal up first. I wanna be on full health before I start exploring more. Let's gather up a bunch of glow berries and some moss blocks to use as building blocks, just in case I have to escape something. I need to find a mine shaft. Where can I find one? Okay, this cave is pretty big down down here, but I don't see any mine shafts. I don't know what to do. You know what? I'm gonna break this right here and then use this water to get down. Maybe I can find something down here. Hopefully it's useful things and not scary mobs. Oh, look at this tropical fish. Oh, there's tons of them. This might be a good food source. Oh no, there's zombies chasing me. Let's get out of here. Okay, we have more zombies, but no mine shafts. Okay, our first advancement. Oh no, there's a skeleton. Okay, I need to run. Oh my gosh, they do so much damage. Let's try exploring down here. And we have more zombies. Why is this lush cave so dangerous? Wow, tropical fish are a terrible food source. They only give you half a hunger point. All right, I've done some more surviving and I've managed to avoid some skeletons over there, but I'm still searching for a mine shaft. This is proving to be a lot more difficult than I expected. Also, I'm trying to reach 500,000 subscribers this year on my channel. So if you do find that you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe. Oh, look, there's diamonds. If only I had a pickaxe to mine them. Oh, more diamonds. It's kind of ironic that Finding wood is harder than finding diamonds down here, but that's all part of the challenge. Oh my gosh, look, there's more right here. Is that a cave up there? Wait, oh, it is a cave. What's over here? Oh my gosh, it's a dungeon. Wait, oh no, there's zombies now. I really wish I had a pickaxe so I could break the spawner. Okay, go away. As long as there's no skeletons up here, I think I should be okay. Go away, knock them off the edge, go. There we go. <laughs> okay, so I need to run in here and place down a wall so the zombies can't get to me. There we go. Okay, can they get up? I don't think so. Let's try to break this now. Come on, please work. Okay, I'm super close. There we go. I'm not sure if that would have been useful later on, but I don't really want to deal with zombies with no armor right now. Okay, let's see what's in these chests. Okay, we have some coal. That might be useful. Also some string. That could be useful too. Oh my gosh, look at this. Some golden apples. Oh, and some bones. Wait a sec. Oh, and melon seeds too. Wait a second. I think this actually might be useful. Let's take these chests too. And I think I have an idea now. I'm not sure if this will work, but I think it's my best chance to get wood. First, we have to clear out all these glow berries. And then right here, I'm going to place down a flowering azalea. And then I can turn this bone into bone meal. And let's see, is it going to grow into a tree? Oh my gosh, finally, I finally have some wood. That dungeon actually was super useful. All right, we can finally start surviving now. Since without wood, I wasn't able to do anything. And look at that, I have seven oak logs. First, let's make a crafting table. And now for our first tool, a wooden pickaxe. And I'm gonna use this to mine some deep slate. And there we go, we're in the stone age. Now I can craft up a stone pickaxe. And now I wanna find some iron. I don't think I'll find that much down here in deep slate level. So that means I'll have to go higher up. I really wish there was some iron in that dungeon chest. That would have made things way easier. But now it's time to go on a little exploration. Wait, let's actually grab this dirt. This could be useful later on. All right, we're on the hunt for some iron. Oh, look, there's already some right there. Okay, our first piece of iron. And look at that, there's actually tons of iron. All right, let's mine up some more stone now. And I'm gonna craft up a furnace and then we can smelt our iron. And would you look at that? We're making so much progress already. All right, we have our first piece of iron and now enough to craft an iron pickaxe. There we go. Look at that, that was a super fast upgrade. And we also have some extra iron since now I'm gonna craft up a shield. Because right now skeletons are my biggest threat and having a shield is gonna help me stay alive. 
alive. And we have two extra iron for something else. Now let's try to go find those diamonds that I found earlier and see if I can craft something with diamond. I think there was a diamond over here, right? Oh yeah, here it is. It looks like it's just one, but it's better than nothing. All right, here's our first diamond. And look at that. I have diamonds before I even have a stable source of food. Now that I had some iron and some basic stone tools, my next goal was to find a place to set up a farm since I was in desperate need of some better food. All right, look at this cave. This looks like a pretty cool place to call home. Oh, look at that. There's some dirt. That's going to be extremely useful since without dirt, we can't grow any crops. It looks pretty safe and light over here. So this is where I'm going to set up. First, let's punch a bunch of grass though, since I want to get some seeds and then I can place down my dirt, craft up a hoe and turn this into a farm. Oh no, it's too dark right here. Okay. Um, how do I do this? I guess I'll craft a torch maybe. I feel like that's kind of a waste of my wood though. Well, it's fine. All right, let's place a torch right here and right here and we should be good to go to start the farm. There we go. A seedy place. We're actually making some great progress right now. Looks like we have some more dirt over here and we can use this to expand our farm. Even though this is pretty hard, I'm actually having a ton of fun right now. Something about survival challenges is just super fun to me. Oh no, right as I say that, I get attacked by a skeleton. Well, I guess it can give me some more bones. Come on, die already. Yay, look at that. We got two more bones. And now with my extra dirt, I can use it to expand the farm. And you know what? Maybe I'll also grow some melons. Those might be kind of useful later on, even though they are a terrible source of food. Oh no, I just saw a creeper. Oh my gosh. I could just never get a break from mobs, can I? All right, now that I have a pretty decent amount of food growing, I'm gonna try to find some more iron and some diamonds. And look at that. We have one more diamond right down here. Okay, is it more than one? Probably not, to be honest. Yep, it's just one but now we have two diamonds and i think i have a pretty good idea of what to do with them what the there's like five creepers down there why oh my gosh i should really invest in some torches to light this area up okay just blow up oh oh a skeleton too oh my this was not a good place to set up camp there's just way too many mobs okay as i was saying before i got rudely interrupted by all those creepers is now that i have two diamonds i'm actually gonna craft up a diamond sword since i don't really need anything else that's diamond right now and i think a diamond sword is gonna be my best bet to stay alive and you know what i think I think I have an idea. How many planks can I craft up? Okay, this is definitely gonna be a waste of wood, but it'll pay off in the end. Let's craft up 12 planks and we'll use it to craft a composter. And then with all this extra moss that I have, I can use it to make bone meal. That way we can grow even more trees and get even more wood. All right, we got five bone meal in total. Let's try to get some more wood now. Okay, here goes nothing. Whoa, first try, amazing. Let's also craft up a stone ax. And look at that, we have some pretty good tools now. And we got seven more pieces of wood. Not too bad. Oh my gosh, wait, I have this string and I also have some sticks. So let's build a fishing rod. That might actually be a good source of food. And maybe I can also fish up some valuable things. But I did see a diamond down here. So let's try to get that first. Is it just one? Let's see. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's actually a pretty big vein. Look at that. We got four more diamonds. I wonder what I'll use that for. But we're still off to find a place to fish. And I think over here should be a pretty good spot. Okay, I'm not sure if this is deep enough, but we can try anyways. And there we go. Look at that. <laughs> we got some food. Okay, I waited for a bit of time. And this is how much my food has grown. It's honestly still going pretty slow, but we do have some fully grown ones right here. And I also have three melons, but I should have enough wheat now to craft up some bread. And there we go, our first real food. But now I want to start getting some armor. And since it's actually pretty easy to find diamonds down here, I think I'm going to try that first. Wait a second, I already have four, so let's craft up some boots. Now all we need is leggings, a chest plate, and a helmet. You know what? I don't think I'm going to have enough diamonds for full diamond armor. So I think I'm just going to try full iron armor instead. Because right now with no armor, oh my gosh, I'm taking so much damage. Just a pair of diamond boots is not enough armor. All right, let's craft the chest plate. There we go. A helmet. Actually, let's craft leggings. And I have some more iron over here. And once I have this all done smelting, I'll finally have a full set of armor. All right, we have eight more iron. I can use it to craft the helmet. And we finally have a full set of armor. Now all my food is almost fully grown now, so I'm going to harvest it. And now I want to find a better place to live. Since this spot over here has been pretty dangerous, there's always mobs sneaking up on me. So let's see if I can find a better place. Okay, I didn't find a place to build a house, but I ended up finding over a stack of iron. But my food is all fully grown and I harvested all of it, so I think it's time to pack up and move. I have way too many items to make it in just one trip, so I'm only gonna bring the bare minimum, and then once I find a good place, we'll come back for the rest of it. After a bit of searching, I think I found a pretty good place to call home. So let's empty out my inventory and go get the rest of my stuff. Let's grab all of this and all of my dirt. And there we go. That's all of my items. Okay, I made it back home and let's start organizing some of my items. And you know what? As we're doing that, let's smelt up all this iron. That way I can craft a full set of iron tools. Oh, and we should also get a farm set up as fast as possible. And it's also pretty dark down here, so we're gonna need some light. I think this should be perfect. All right, let's turn all this into farmland and plant up all my seeds. And there we go. Here's our small little farm. Okay, our iron is smelting up. Let's turn it into some tools. Let's craft an iron pickaxe and an iron axe and also an iron shovel. And there we go. A 
shiny new set of tools. Now that I've relocated over here, I want to start making this area a lot safer. So that's going to mean crafting up a bunch of sticks and turning them into torches. All right, and now we can just go around here and make sure no mobs can spawn. Mobs just like this. Go away. <laughs> okay, our cave is all lit up. Now let's see, do I have any more dirt here? I don't. Okay, so I think the next step is to expand this farm even more. Okay, here's the progress so far, and I expanded the farm quite a bit, and it's looking pretty good now. So as I wait for all these seeds to grow, I'm going to fish for some more food, and I'll do that right here. You know what? To increase my chances of getting something good, I'm going to turn this into a proper fishing area. It has to be five by five by four blocks with all the water being source blocks. Okay, and this should count as open water fishing, which means not only can we get fish, but we can also get treasure loot. Things like enchanted bows, enchanted fishing rods, and enchanted books. Hopefully we can get something good. All right, let's test it out. Wait a second. I just saw something enchanted fly into my inventory. It's an enchanted rod. Look at the C2 and mending. Wow, that's actually pretty good. Looks like we're going to be replacing this rod and trying for some better stuff. All right, it's been a few days and already my food situation is looking so much better. I have tons of cooked fish and some bread, but surprisingly, I didn't fish up any more enchanted items. I only managed to get this fishing rod, but now that I have some decent food, I want to get a bit more geared up, ideally with full diamond armor and tools. But before we do that, I need to bring some more pickaxes with me and I'm down to just one piece of wood. So we're going to grow a few more trees and I think this should be enough wood. Let's turn it into some planks, then some sticks and now into some pickaxes. And I think three extra should be good. I haven't been too lucky with finding diamonds just by exploring the caves. So instead, I'm just going to do a normal strip mine. And I think I'm going to start it right over here. And already I went through one entire pickaxe just to get down here. And I'm still not even at diamond level yet. Okay, here we are. This is diamond level. So I guess I'll just start mining in this direction. I really hope this doesn't take too long. Oh my gosh, finally, I found some diamonds. Please tell me it's more than just one. Okay, it is. Oh, it's a super big vein too. Wait, whoa. Oh my gosh. This is actually insane. If only I had, oh my, wait, look at this. There's so many diamonds. I got 16 in just one vein? What the heck? That is insane. I don't think I've ever seen a vein that big. Wow, that's definitely a good start to the mining trip, and I haven't even been going that far. With this, I have enough for a chest plate and leggings, so I just need enough for a helmet, an axe, and a pickaxe. So let's keep mining. After mining for a bit longer and without finding any more diamonds, I had broken all my pickaxes and my inventory was completely full. So I went back up top, harvested my crops, crafted up some food and more pickaxes, then continued mining. And look at this, I found some more diamonds, finally! Is it a lot? Ooh, it is. We now have 22 in total. I just want to find a few more so I can craft a diamond pickaxe. And I think I only need one more diamond for that. Wait a second. I think I have one diamond at home. So we should have everything that I need. All right, let's head back up to the surface, craft up some leggings, a chest plate, a helmet. And with my one extra diamond, here it is, a diamond pickaxe. And there we go. Look at that. I'm finally fully geared up. Now I don't have a diamond axe or a diamond shovel yet, but that's not really important down here. Armor and a sword is the most important thing. So now that I have this, I need to start getting some enchantments. Since if I'm going to fight all the bosses later on, I need to have protection for at least. So let's empty out my inventory real quick. And my next stop is going to be the nether. Let's get a piece of iron and a flint to craft up a flint and steel. And now we just have to go to some lava to get some obsidian. And I think there should be some lava right down here, right? Oh yeah, there's a giant lava pool. All right, let's jump down real quick. Oh, look at that. There's diamonds. <laughs> if only I knew about this earlier. Let's see. How much damage do I take? Oh, it's amazing. I take so little damage. Only about half a heart. All right, let's start getting some obsidian. Oh my gosh, without an enchanted pickaxe, this takes so long. But we only need 14, so it's not that bad. 10 for a portal and 4 for an enchanting table. And there we go, 14 pieces of obsidian. Now, you might be wondering, why do I have to go to the nether to get enchantments? Well, down here, there's basically no way for me to get paper without going to a stronghold. So I have to go to the nether to get ender pearls and blaze rods, and then I can use that to find a stronghold. And then once we're there, I can get books and paper to craft an enchanting table. And that's my plan to get enchantments. I got this gold helmet earlier from killing a zombie, so I'm gonna bring it with me. And let's build my portal right here, and we should be good to go. Now I just have to hope that my nether spawn is good. Okay, I think it can't really get much worse than this. Let's write down my coordinates in case I get lost, and I guess I'll just start mining this way. I think I'm hearing things off to my left, so I'm gonna try to mine this way. I think we're getting close. Okay, here we are. Looks like we're just in a normal nether waste for now. Oh my gosh, look at that. There's a bastion right there. Okay, I guess this spawn isn't too bad, and it's a bridge bastion too. That's amazing. I really should have brought a bow with me though, because now we're gonna have to deal with these piglin brutes. All right, I'm gonna get rid of my water, and I'm gonna grab some lava. That way we can kill the piglin brutes without getting the other ones mad. I hear brutes. Oh, I see one. This is scary. There's two brutes right here. Let's try to kill them with some lava. Okay, they're dying. That's good. Let's go underneath these chests now, since if we open them from below, it doesn't make everyone mad. Oh, I got golden carrots. That's a great source of food. And I also got some string, chest plate, magma cream. All this stuff is super useful. Oh my gosh, a sharpness five iron sword. And that actually
actually does more damage than my diamond sword. So I think I'm going to use this for now. All right, let's check out this chest. Okay, more golden carrots. Look at that. I have tons of golden carrots now. And we also got a bunch of super useful stuff. All right, now we just have to carefully loot the rest of this bastion and try not to die. All right, I'm going to try to remember some of my speedrunning skills. And I'm going to build a little pit for some piglins right here. And then mine these gold blocks to make them angry. Okay, he went in here now. Let's give him some gold to trade. Okay, he's trading. Nice. I only have one piglin, but that's okay. I still have tons of gold to give him. And we're looking for some ender pearls. I'm going to have to craft a chest to keep all these extra items. Let's throw them all in here. All right, no ender pearls yet. But oh, look at that. I got a soul speed three book. That's pretty good. Oh, look at that. Fire resistance. That's going to come in handy. All right, he's used up all the gold. So it's time to go find some more. Okay, there is all the extra gold. They are going to get angry once I mine this, but they should eventually forget. All right, let's go back to our friend over here. Let's give him some gold. All right, this might take a while, but hopefully he can give me some pearls. Oh my gosh, right as I say that, I get some. Let's wait for him to go through the rest of the gold, and then we'll leave. All right, here's the last piece of gold. And there we go. And this is everything that I got in total. And I also got tons of fire resistance, which is going to be super helpful for this next step. Oh, and I also got 12 ender pearls. I'm going to have to come back for this stuff later, so I'm just going to leave it in this chest. But now we need to find a fortress, since that's the only way we're going to get blaze rods. Now let's see, is there anything around here? I'm going to head back over here, since that's where I came from. From. Let's see. Can I do an easy advancement? Ow! And boom. Oh, God. Oh, I have to left click. Okay. I was right clicking on it for some reason. There we go. An easy advancement. But now I'm going to head off in this direction and see if I can find a fortress. Okay. Something terrible has happened. There's two ghasts and I accidentally hit a fireball and the fireballs made all of the zombie piglins angry. This is actual chaos. Oh my gosh. There's so... Okay. This is terrible. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Let's just place lots of lava. Oh wait. I forgot. They can't die with lava. Well, it looks like I accidentally made a gold farm. I think that might be it. What a disaster. But now that I have that taken care of, it's time to keep searching for a fortress. Oh my gosh. It's literally right here. That was not difficult at all to find. Let's do some fire resistance and let's try to find a blaze spawner. Gotta be careful for wither skeletons too. I hear blazes. Okay. Oh, there's a spawner. Hello, blazes. This is so easy with fire resistance. All right. We already have one blaze rod and there's actually two spawners, which is super nice. All right. We have two blaze rods now. We're now up to three. We're up to five now. Six, seven. We're now up to eight. We're now up to nine, ten. 11 and 12. We're up to 13 now. 14 and 15. Okay, that should be good. I'm gonna leave. I'm scared. And now to make my way home. That was kind of scary, but also extremely successful. All right, now that I have my pearls and my blaze rods, I can make some blaze powder and some eyes of ender. Okay, let's go to a big open cave now. I think down here should be perfect. And now we can throw the eye of ender. Oh, it's going over the lava. Oh no. Oh gosh. Okay, I picked it up. <laughs> it's over in this direction. Right now, we're basically at zero, zero. So it's going to be about a thousand blocks until I get there, I think. Wait a second. Instead of mining 1500 blocks down here, I should just go to the nether instead. That way I can travel one eighth of the distance and not have to mine that far. I'm glad I thought of this before we got too far. All right, now that I'm out here, we have to get the direction that the stronghold is in. And since I was mining over in this direction, this is negative Z. Okay, so we're going to have to go that direction in the nether. Okay, now we have to see negative Z. That is this direction. Direction. All right, I've made it about 180 blocks away, and I'm going to dig down now to make sure that I spawn in the caves. Since if my portal generates above ground, I'll instantly die. All right, let's build the portal. And now I just have to hope that I do not spawn above ground. Okay, I'm in a cave, thankfully. Uh, I guess we'll throw another Eye of Ender, since I don't really know how close I am. It looks like it's off in this direction. I have to say, finding a stronghold below ground is so much harder than on top. But I guess that's all part of the challenge. Oh my gosh, look at this. Deep slate coal. Too bad I don't have silk touch to mine this. Maybe we can come back for it once we have our enchantments. Okay, I found a small cave. I wonder if there's anything over here. I don't see any stronghold blocks, so I'm not sure if I'm close. Okay, I guess I'll throw another eye of ender. Oh, it went this way. Oh, wait, that means I must have passed it. If I passed it, then it must be above me or below me. I have no idea. This is so difficult. I guess I'll try mining down and see what I can find. Oh, look at that. I found some diamonds. Okay, I'm at bedrock and I didn't find anything. So it must be above me. I really don't know. All right, I've made it back to my mine and I guess we'll try going up. I need to be extremely careful though, since if I see the surface, then I'm dead. So I have to make sure not to mine too far up. I need to make sure that none of this is grass. Okay, it doesn't sound like it. If I hear grass, I'm running away. Oh, I hear a zombie nearby. So there could be a cave. Zombies in this direction. Let's check it out. Oh, look at that. Okay, let's see. Oh my gosh. I found it. And it's the exact room that I was looking for, the library. Wait, what the heck? And check it out. Look at all these books. Oh, it's amazing. And while we're here, we'll also get some string. What are the odds that the first room that I'm looking for, I find? That's crazy. Let's see what's in here. Oh my gosh. Whoa, this is a crazy book. Power four, sharpness three, flame and blast protection four. I'm going to get three stacks of books, I think. And that should be good for all the bookshelves that I need to craft. And let's see this chest. What the heck? Look at these books. They have so many enchantments on them. Let's also 
also grab all this paper and we finally have everything that I came for. But since I'm already here, let's try to find the portal room since that way we know where it is for the future. Oh my gosh, look, another library. Any more good enchantments? Yeah, look at that, protection four and even more paper. I'm finding so many good items in here. This is crazy. Okay, so far we found two libraries and we'll try to find the portal room now. Oh, I hear it. This is it. How many eyes? Oh, it has zero eyes. Let's just fill in all the ones that I have so far and this will clear up some space in my inventory too. All right, we just need two more, but we're not ready to go to the end anyways, so it's fine. But at least we know where it is. And you know what? Now that I have extra space in my inventory, let's go get some more books because more books are always useful. Okay, my inventory is full of books and string and now we're ready to head home. Wow, that was extremely successful. Okay, and here we are. First, we need to make an enchanting table and luckily I found two diamonds on the way, which is actually super convenient. And check it out. Um, where should I put this? Oh, I think I have an idea. Let's put it inside of this geode. That'd be kind of cool. It could be like my enchanting room. Yeah, look at this. That would be so cool. And then right here in the center, I can place my enchanting table. And now to turn this into a real enchanting table, we have to craft up all of our bookshelves. Right now, I don't have any extra wood, so I'm gonna have to gather up all my bones and start growing some more trees. All right, let's grab some books, turn all of my wood into planks. All right, we have enough for 22. I think I only need 15. Let's try 15 first, because I don't want to waste any wood. And look at that. Whoa, level 30. That was extremely easy. <laughs> That's a lot less than I thought I needed. But there we have it, a level 30 enchanting table. But we are gonna need a few more items to make it complete. I'm gonna grab all of my iron, craft up three iron blocks, and then an anvil. And then we're also gonna need a grindstone. And for that, we need some regular stone. And then I'm also gonna place a chest in there too. That way we can store all my books and all my lapis. And we'll place the grindstone right there and the anvil right here. All right, we have our completed enchanting table. And I also have 32 levels, so that's pretty good. Let's see what I can get. Okay, I think I'm gonna go for protection three on my chest plates. Okay, and we just got protection three, but that's fine. That will definitely help me out in the long run. But now we have less than 30 levels, so I'm gonna have to go get some more. And I think the best way to do that is in the nether mining quartz. And look at that, there's already some right here. Wow, this is going extremely fast. Just one more and I'm back at level 30. Perfect. All right, what can I get now? Sharpness three on my sword. Let's go for efficiency on my pickaxe. Okay, efficiency four and unbreaking three. That's pretty good. But now it's back to the nether for some more XP. Okay, 30 more levels and let's try out some more enchantments. What I really need is feather falling four. That would help out so much. Let's check my boots. Oh my gosh, look at that. Feather falling four on my boots. It's amazing. Let's see what kind of books I have because maybe I can combine some stuff. Okay, I have a protection four book. So I think I should use that on one of my armor pieces. Frostwalker two is not very useful and neither is smite. So I'll probably put it on my leggings or my helmet. I think my leggings will be better. All right, so there we go. Protection four on my leggings and protection three on my chest plates. I'm getting closer to having some super good armor. And you know what? We have quite a bit of bow enchantments. So let's craft a bow. I'm gonna go get seven more levels and then we can try our luck with the bow. After getting tired of mining a bunch of quartz, I decided to farm some zombified piglins for XP instead. Once I had 30 levels from that, I went back to my enchanting table and enchanted my bow. Power four, flame and unbreaking three. That's pretty good. Now, what else can I combine it with? I have another power four book. We now have power five, flame and unbreaking three. That's very good. And then this one I can combine with my helmet to get aqua affinity and protection three. Check it out, fully enchanted armor and a pretty OP enchanted bow. And I think these enchantments are a pretty good start. So now that I have full enchanted armor and some pretty good tools, I need to work on turning this into more of a home since right now it's just a couple of chests and a farm. So first order of business is to build a house. And I think I want it to go right here. Okay, everything is all cleared out now. And I also went ahead and outlined the shape of the house. So now I just have to collect up a few items to build this thing. Right now, the only wood that I have access to is oak wood. So I'm gonna have to get a little bit creative with the blocks that I use for this. But one of the materials that I was thinking for this is actually calcite. And it's a good thing that I'm right next to an amethyst geode because there's tons of it over here. And now next up for the roof, I'm also gonna need some copper. And I think I should have some in here too. Yep. All right, let's get this all smelting up. And then I'm also gonna have to craft a stone cutter, something like this. And then we can take some deep slate and turn it into some deep slate bricks, some deep slate brick stairs, and some cobbled deep slate stairs. But now that I have those materials, it's time to start working on the base. Okay, here's what it's looking like so far. I mean, I don't really have access to that many blocks, but it still looks decent. So now the only thing left to do is add the windows and the roof. Now for the windows, I'm gonna have to do something creative since I don't have any sand at all. And I don't even know if it's possible to get sand down here. So instead, I'm gonna use some trap doors and they're all gonna go right here. And then I'll flip them up like this. We're also gonna put them over 
over here. And then I'm also going to put two right here and a stair right here and right here. Okay, the entrance is already looking a little bit better. So now the only thing left to do is the roof. And I'm going to make that out of cut copper stairs. Okay, there it is. The basically fully completed house. Now the only thing missing is some campfires up in this chimney right here. So let's go craft some. This might be kind of expensive to make, but I hope it's worth it in the end. And there we go. Four campfires. So we're going to place all four right here. The house is basically done on the outside. And that smoke up there does look pretty cool. But now that I have this done, I'm going to work on some detailing, like adding some little azalea bushes around and also adding some leaves and some glow berries. Okay, here's how it's looking so far. I added some little trees like this and I kind of surrounded the entire thing with leaves and flowering azaleas. All right, here's how it looks in here. And then I think right in this corner is where we'll add the storage down below. Okay, here's the storage room. It's just made with a bunch of different deep slate blocks, but it doesn't have to look that good because it's just a storage room. So let's start moving in all my items now. Finally, I won't have to climb up this annoying hill every time I want to get something. Okay, this actually took a super long time, but I finally have everything all organized. So now the last step to complete my house is to add a bed. Let's grab my string, craft up three blocks of wool, and turn it into a bed. All right, let's put this right here. Wow, this is actually the first time that I just slept. <laughs> that's crazy. But the reason I need this bed is to set my spawn point. And that's because up next, we're going to fight the Ender Dragon. Since if we're going to take on the Warden at the end of this challenge, I need to have maxed out armor. And I can only do that with an XP farm, preferably an Enderman XP farm, since they're super easy to build and extremely efficient. So let's gather up some food, some arrows for my bow, and everything else that I need to fight the dragon. Wait a second, I actually need two more eyes of ender, so first we have to go to the nether. I already have all the blaze powder that I need, but I need two more ender pearls. And I know exactly how we're gonna get that. I'm gonna head over to this warped forest, and we're gonna trap a few endermen. Now we have two of them, and then I can go like this. This makes it so much easier and safer. All right, I already got one ender pearl, we just need one more. There we go, look at that. I have all the pearls that I need, and now we can turn these two ender pearls into two eyes of ender. And there we go, this is everything that I need to fight the ender dragon. Okay, one and two. Let's do this. Okay, this platform is pretty deep. Here we go. Let's shoot down some of these towers. All right, let's get this tower, and then this one, and then this one. And I think we only have the ones in the cages left to go. Oh god. All right, let's try to shoot this one now without dying. Ooh, we only have one more to go. I can't believe I'm only doing this just for an XP farm. And there we go. All right, we have all the towers taken care of, so now we can start killing the dragon. I only have nine arrows left, so I have to be careful with them. I think it's perching soon. Yep, here's the perch. Let's shoot it a few times. All right, here it comes. We're doing some damage. A lot of damage, actually. Oh my gosh. And I'm all out of arrows, so we're just gonna have to use my sword now. All right, round two. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh, so close. We're probably gonna have to wait for one more perch, and then the dragon will be dead. All right, here comes the perch. This might be the last one. Okay, let's do this. There we go. <laughs> the dragon is dead. Oh my gosh, look at all this XP. That's going to be super useful for enchanting. And we also can't forget to get the dragon egg. Here it is. We'll dig down, place a torch. And there we go. The next generation. <laughs> that was pretty easy, to be honest. But before we build this Enderman farm, I want to get some shulker boxes. So let's head over to this gateway, pillar up to it. Oh, wait, I need an ender pearl to get through. We're going to have to kill some Enderman. This is going to be scary. But I think my armor is pretty good. All right, hello. I need an ender pearl. There we go. We have one. Let's get at least five. There we go. We have two. Now we have three. Now we have four and five. Perfect. All right, let's pearl through. Oh my gosh, look at that. We're so lucky. There's two of them. Wow. Okay, I'm going to go straight for the elytra. So let's pillar up. Up. and then bridge over this is scary oh gosh let's just fly over real quick please i don't want to be flying over the void okay we're in let's grab this brewing stand that might be useful and here we are we made it to an end city and i see the elytra already and there we go we got it let's see oh diamonds curse of vanishing that doesn't really matter because i'm in hardcore anyways lots and lots of iron smite is not that good but i can always disenchant this we also can't forget to grab the dragon head Boop. There we go. We have the dragon egg and the dragon head. Let's kill some more of these guys. All right, we have enough for one shulker box now. After looting the rest of the first end city, I didn't get that many more diamond items, and I only had four shulker shells. So I made my way to the top of the city and jumped off with my elytra. Okay, we have our second end city. Hopefully we can find some better loot in here. But first, some shulker shells. Okay, this is the room with tons of shulkers. Oh gosh, we need to be careful in here. All right, what's in these chests? More diamonds. We also got some gold. Ooh, that is a very good shovel. Oh my gosh, these boots are amazing too. 
Let's try to kill these shulkers, though. We have eight now. Look at that. And I think there should be one more room in here that has some chests. Oh my gosh, there's so many shulkers. All right, what's in these chests? Just some gold in this one, more diamonds, and some decent boots. Not amazing. Shovel's also okay. And that's everything. We got all the chests. The only thing left in this end city is the elytra. All right, our second elytra. Is there anything good in here? Wait, these shovels are identical. <laughs> look at that. And look at all this loot. Oh my gosh, so much diamond stuff. But my armor took a huge beating. I definitely need mending soon. But the end gateway is over there, and I think I'll be able to fly over. Let's go all the way to the top of this ship and fly over to the gateway. That was very successful. Tons of shulker shells, tons of diamond loot, and we also got a bunch of XP from killing the dragon. All right, let's see. Can I make it into here now? Yes, look at that. All right, let's pop through here now. Let's see. Are we going to respawn at home? Yep, here we are. Wow, that was a lot of fun. But let's grab some wood, turn it into some chests, and then turn these chests into shulker boxes. We also got 13 extra diamonds, which is very good. Let's pop these over here, empty out the rest of my inventory, and I think I'm going to put the dragon head right here and maybe the egg on top. Look, he's wearing a little hat. <laughs> and now that I have that done, I can start collecting up everything for this Enderman farm. Wait a second. I need a name tag. That kind of puts a wrench in things. So before we build this Enderman farm, I'm going to have to find a name tag. And I think I have just the idea. And that's going to be with villagers. But there's no villages down here. So you might be wondering, how am I going to get villagers? Well, it's actually pretty simple. And I just need to find a zombie villager and cure him. But to do that, I'm going to need some special items first. One of them is a brown mushroom. And the other one is sugar. And since I don't have any sugar cane down here, I'm gonna have to kill a bunch of witches. And then for the brown mushroom, we're just gonna have to find that by exploration. But I think you can find brown mushrooms in the nether. So that's where I'm headed first. I think they might just generate on the floor or maybe they also generate in fortresses. I'm not that sure, but we're just gonna have to run around until I find one. Oh, I see red mushrooms, but no brown mushrooms yet. Oh wait, look at that. There's one. Okay, perfect. Let's grab some of these just in case. And we have a few brown mushrooms down here. And perfect. Nice, we now have two brown mushrooms. All right, now next up on the ingredient list is some sugar. And that's gonna involve killing a ton of witches, which I don't think spawn that often, so this might take quite a while. But we are in the caves though, and mobs spawn constantly down here. So at least that will make it a little bit easier. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. I can just fly down here. This is so nice. All right, we're looking for some witches. Where are you guys? It looks like we only have the annoying mobs, skeletons, spiders, and creepers. Well, I guess the spiders are fine because we also need a spider eye. Can I have a spider eye, please? Oh. There we go, we got a spider eye. So we have everything except for sugar. You know what? I think it's nighttime in the overworld right now, so there's probably not that many mobs spawning down here. So let's go back up to my bed and sleep. That should hopefully help more mobs spawn down here. All right, here we go. Look at all those advancements, oh my gosh. Okay, now that it's daytime above ground, we should have some more mobs start to spawn down here. Let's put on my elytra and check it out. My armor is taking so much damage, so I better get this done quick. You know what? I'm gonna turn this all into obsidian, that way more mobs can spawn. Since it's also causing a lot of light, so that's probably not helping mobs spawn. All right, we just have a few more patches of lava, and then we'll have a nice flat area where hopefully some witches can spawn. Yeah, check it out. It's so much darker down here now. Hopefully this helps. Wait, do I hear slimes? I just heard a slime. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's a slime chunk. That might actually be kind of useful later on. That is one resource I thought I would never get, to be honest. Oh no! I just saw carrots, but the creeper blew it up. Oh my gosh. That's actually my only way to get carrots in this world is through zombies. And a creeper just ruined it. Well, we are going to be killing plenty more zombies today. So hopefully one of them will have a carrot for me. Oh my gosh. A witch. Look, I found one. Finally. Please drop sugar. Did it drop anything? I don't think it did. And a zombie villager. Oh my gosh. Look at this. It's a, it's a full on battle going on right here. No, don't kill him. Oh my, okay. Well, thanks for that. Oh, look, oh my God, another one. Look at this. Wait, 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 wait. We need to make sure the creepers don't kill it. We gotta kill all the other mobs first. Oh, it gave me slowness. It's not very nice. Okay, I dropped glowstone, but no sugar. All right, well, we got two witches to spawn pretty close together. So I'm hopeful this won't take too much longer. Look at all these mobs. This is actually crazy. Oh my gosh, another witch. Please drop sugar. Please, 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 please. Oh, it did, it did. Oh no, there's a creeper. Oh my God. Oh my god, that was really, really bad. <laughs> I can't believe I just screamed like that. But look, I got two sugar. Oh my gosh. I really didn't want the creeper to blow it up, so I kind of just ran into it to collect it. And it definitely worked, but I made some very strange sounds. <laughs> okay, I finally have everything that I need to cure a zombie villager. But now the only thing we need is a zombie villager itself. And that shouldn't be too hard to get, because look at all the mobs down here. It's insane. But first, we have to brew our potions. Let's see, do I have any water bottles? I don't, but I know where to find some. And I'm going to have to bring my shulker boxes with me, because my water bottles are back in the bastion 
question along with everything else that I left. And now that I have shulker boxes, I can finally bring all the items back. And our items should be right here. Yep. Oh my gosh. That is a ton of items. And we also have water bottles. Perfect. Okay. Now that I have everything, I can finally head home and we can start working on getting a zombie villager. Okay. Now that I'm back, I can throw in some water bottles. We're also going to need some blaze rods. We'll use that as fuel. And now we need a fermented spider eye. That's going to be one spider eye, one brown mushroom, and one sugar. And once we combine them all like this, there we go. And this makes a potion of weakness, which is the first step to curing a zombie villager. And step two, I already had that taken care of, and that's a golden apple. Now we have to add gunpowder to turn it into a splash potion, and there we go. Let's organize this stuff real quick, and then we'll go find one. Oh, and I just realized I also have a ton of arrows for my bow now. Okay, everything's been organized. Let's do this. Um, I'm probably gonna have to bring a boat with me as well. That will make things a little bit easier. And I think I'm also gonna need some torches too. Okay, now we're good to go. Oh my gosh, what are the odds of that? Look, there's one right there. We need to kill all these skeletons though. Oh, and he's carrying an item. That's perfect. That means he'll never despawn. All right, go in the boat. And I'm gonna light up everything around here because I don't want any more mobs to spawn. And then once I know everything is safe, we can start the curing process. We should be good to go. Let's go like this and then like this. And so begins the curing process. Just to be extra safe, I'm gonna encase this guy like this. And while he's curing, let's go get him a job site. Our first villager is gonna be a farmer. That way we can make some emeralds. And then our second villager is gonna be a librarian. Okay, we have both of our villagers' professions and we should be good to go. I do need to work on getting another zombie villager though. Since you need two villagers to breed. So let's see if I can find one. Oh my gosh, he's cured. I can't believe we have a villager in this world. Let's try some trades. Look at that. He has a wheat trade. Let's go get some wheat for him. All right, let's harvest up some wheat and use this to trade with our villager. Hello, friend. We finally have emeralds in this world. Oh my gosh. Now all we have to do is get one more zombie villager and then we can have two villagers and then we can get as many villagers as we want. I need to hurry up though because look at my armor. Oh my gosh. Okay, I've taken a slight break from trying to find a second zombie villager to do some enchanting because my armor is not looking good at all right now and I do have 67 levels, so I might as well put them to use. Let's grab my extra diamonds, as well as my extra armor and tools from the end cities. And let's see if I can get some better enchantments, or at the very least, just repair my armor. After a bit of enchanting, I have two perfect pickaxes. My boots are perfect. My helmet is perfect. The only thing we have left is my chest plate and my leggings. Let's see what I can get on here. Protection three again. That's fine, because if we combine the two, then we'll have protection four. All right, we can now combine these to get protection four. What about my sword? Unbreaking three. Let's see. Bane of arthropods and fire aspect. Why? <laughs> Garbage. I really want sharpness. Please, sharpness. Look at that. Sharp four, knockback two, looting three, and unbreaking three. I'm not a big fan of knockback, but I'll take it. And after some more enchanting, I'm out of levels now. But it's all good, because we did get some pretty good stuff. So now let's combine all of this. First, we'll combine my boots. Wow, that is insanely expensive. Oh my gosh. Let's try something else first. What about my helmet? Okay, nine levels. That's not too bad. And that's basically a perfect helmet. Next, we'll combine my chest plate to have protection four. Very good. Good. Let's do my fortune pickaxe now. That costs 11 levels, but it's a perfect pickaxe, so I'll take it. And we only have three levels left. Can I do anything with this? I think that's all we can combine for now. But now we have full protection for armor, except for my boots, but we will have it once we combine it with this. And I also have a sharpness for sword, a maxed out fortune pickaxe, and an almost perfect silk touch pickaxe. That was a very successful enchanting session, but let's leave all my extra items. And now we can continue the hunt for another zombie villager. Okay, a creeper exploded, my shield broke, and I'm on one and a half hearts. Run away! <laughs> Holy crap, that was very, very close. If I didn't have protection four on almost all my armor, that definitely would have killed me. But also, this knockback is extremely annoying. I really do not like knockback. We might have to try for some different enchantments once I get some villagers. But I still haven't found any more zombie villagers. So the hunt continues. Oh my gosh, I just killed a zombie and it dropped a carrot. I can't believe it. I need to go keep this safe right now. That's gonna be extremely useful because farmer villagers can also buy carrots. And I'm gonna plant it right now here. Once we get more villagers, I'm probably going to have to expand this farm too, because it's already at max capacity. But now that I have that taken care of, the hunt for more zombie villagers continues. Wait a minute. Now that I have fortune three, I should probably get these diamonds down here. Is this the right pickaxe? Yes, it is. All right, let's test out fortune three. Four diamonds. Oh my. Wow, that's actually really good. Okay, this is bad. My leggings are right about to break. They only have seven durability left. Okay, since I have some more diamonds now, let's see if I can repair my leggings. I have six diamonds in total. Yep, that's just one short. You can repair leggings like this though, right? I don't know if that's worth wasting a diamond on though. Well, I think it's my only option right now, so let's just do it. Gosh, that does not feel very good to waste diamonds like that. But I guess it's better than totally breaking my leggings, which would cost seven diamonds. So I think it's worth it. But now the hunt for a zombie villager continues. Oh my gosh, I found one. I finally found one. Let's get him to go into this boat. There we go. And now we just have to kill every other mob around here. 
Oh no, my leggings just broke. Well, that's great. I wasted that diamond for nothing. All right, come with me, friend. Let's just go right here. That should be fine. Okay, we're gonna go this and then this. Okay, and I desperately need some leggings right now. Since this guy is curing, can he despawn? Just to be safe, I'm gonna stick around with this villager until he cures, because I don't want him to despawn. While I'm waiting, I'm gonna gather up some blocks. Oh my god. Holy crap. Half a heart. Wow. That's insane. I need some leggings right now. But I don't know if I can leave this villager alone. Oh my gosh. That's, this is also my last piece of bread too. Things are going terribly wrong, guys. Okay, I'm testing it out in a creative world. I need to make sure that this zombie does not despawn when I leave. So I'm going to fly all the way up here. And this should be far away enough now. Let's just go up to Y200. Okay, let's see if the zombie is still there. Okay, it is. So that means that it won't despawn. All right, so I'm good to go. Okay, so now that I tested that out, I can head back home safely and get some more armor. I swear, if this villager despawns, I'm gonna cry. I don't have enough diamonds for diamond leggings, and I don't have any extras, so I'm just gonna have to use some iron leggings. While we're over here too, let's grab a bunch of blocks, and we're gonna use this to make a staircase up to my house. That way we can bring the villagers. I really hope that creative world was a good test. Let's see if this villager is still here. He is. Okay, we're good. Now all we have to do is wait. Actually, while we're waiting, let's just go ahead and make that staircase. Okay, we're at the top now. And let's go check on this other zombie villager. Is he cured yet? He is. Check it out. Hello, friend. But before we move these villagers, I'm going to go get a bunch of torches and light all this up down here. Since I don't want any skeletons or zombies trying to kill them. All right, armed with my torches. Let's get all this lit up down here. <gasps> Wait, I got a potato. Finally. Oh my gosh. That took quite a while. And another one? Look at that. Two potatoes in a row. All right, let's create an enclosure for this villager. And we're going to lure him with his workstation. Wait, no. Don't. Hey. All right. Is he going to find it? Oh, he is. It's working. That was surprisingly easy. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put these villagers yet. So I guess I'll just put them in my house. Hello, friend. And he even closed the door behind him. How nice. Let's place that there so he can't escape. And let's go get the other villager now. Hello, villager. How's it going? Let's get you out of there. Let's place down a lectern for you. Let's see. What kind of trades? Paper and smite. You know what? Let's try to get mending. That might be kind of useful. I'm going to sit here and reset this guy's trades until I can get mending. All right. The long process begins. I just totally like messed up and accidentally clicked on the villager instead of this. So, oh, his trades are going to be expensive now. No. Oh, wait, what? You guys need to go away. Oh, I'm sorry, villager. It looks like it's going to be impossible to get mending for a cheap price now because I accidentally hit this guy. Are you kidding me? Men? What? How? Oh my gosh. That is actually insane. Okay. Well, let's go get a book. <laughs> let's lock in his trade. I can't believe he has a one emerald mending trade even after I hit him. That is crazy. Wow. Well, I guess that makes up for how long it took to find him. We're already making some crazy progress in this world. Look at that. Mending. Oh my gosh. I'm rich now. <laughs> All right. Now we just have to get this guy over safely. Hello, farmer villager. I brought you a friend. There we go. Finally, I have both villagers here. So now that we have that, I need to start breeding them. And thankfully from all those spiders that I've been killing, I have tons and tons of string. So we can turn all this into wool and craft up some beds. Let's see. Do I have any extra bread? I don't. So I'm going to have to farm up some bread and give it to them. Also, I should probably make some fences since I don't want these guys escaping. And let's craft up a fence gate. Since instead of just putting a bunch of fences, I'm just going to put one fence gate right here. Maybe to be safe, I'll also put some fences like that. Here we go. Now the villagers can't escape. Wow, look at this. Basically, everything is ready to harvest, which is great because we need tons of bread to breed these villagers. Looks like my carrots are also grown. Nice. Now I have three carrots. We can also replant those. Things are going very well. All right, let's turn this all into bread. We have 40 of it now. And I wonder if that's going to be enough. Probably not though, but let's see. Are they going to share food? Okay. Okay, they're sharing food. Let's go, it's working. And look at that, we have a baby. We're actually breeding villagers in a caves only world. That is insane. I've honestly made so much more progress than I expected in this world. This has been a ton of fun so far. But now I'm just gonna spend a little bit of time breeding some villagers and trading with these guys as well. And I'll be back once I've made some progress. All right, it's been a few days and check this out. I have a bunch of villagers now. Kind of a lot more than I was expecting since I only gave these guys a little bit of bread, but I have my librarian villager all leveled up to trade me a name tag. And it also sells bookshelves for two emeralds and buys books for one emerald. So if I just repeat this over and over, I can get infinite emeralds. I also leveled up my farmer villager and he now trades me golden carrots. And I also got a cleric villager that buys rotten flesh and sells lapis. And these are all some extremely useful trades, but let's buy a name tag now. There we go. 
and now we can finally build this XP farm. I already went ahead and collected the main ingredient, which is leaves, but we're gonna need a few more items. We're gonna need some moss carpets, quite a few, I think. Then we're also gonna need some hoppers. Am I gonna have enough iron for this? I hope so. Okay, six hoppers. That's gonna use so much iron. Then I'm also gonna need two chests, six trap doors, a mine cart, a rail, some building blocks, and some fences. All right, and then the last ingredient. Wait, look at this. There's an iron golem. Is he angry at me? Okay, he's not. That's good, because I did accidentally hit these villagers. So that would be a big problem if we had angry iron golems in this world. But now the last ingredient is a bucket of lava. And it's a good thing we're in the caves, because there's tons of it down here. And that should be everything. But to make things go a little bit smoother, I am gonna bring my entire enchanting setup with me. Let's make sure I use my silk touch pickaxe to grab these. And this is because the end portal is pretty far away, and I don't want to have to be going back and forth all the time, since that's gonna waste so much time. And then we're gonna bring all of these items. Now before I go, I want to make sure I have enough mending books for all of my armor and tools. Let's see, so we're gonna need one, two, three, four, five for my elytra, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we're gonna have an extra pickaxe, so that's ten. And right now I have nine, so I just need to buy one more. Luckily these are extremely cheap. Hello friend, thank you. You know what, I might as well just buy a few extra, just in case. Okay, that should be good for all my items. But there is just one more thing that I have to do before I go, and that's to get enough diamonds to craft a pair of diamond leggings. And hopefully this shouldn't be as difficult as last time, since I do have fortune three now. So let's head back to our mine, which is over here, and let's see if I can find some more diamonds. Okay, this should- wait a second, look at this! <laughs> There's some right here already. It's going so much faster with efficiency five. Wait, it was right next to my old mine and I missed these. Well, we now have five diamonds, but I need seven for a pair of leggings, so we're just gonna have to mine a little bit more. Ooh, more diamonds! Okay, how many do I have? I have 12 now, nice! It goes so much faster once you have efficiency five, it's crazy. But 12 diamonds, that's more than enough to craft a pair of leggings. So it's finally time to build this XP farm. All right, let's head to the end and get this done. Okay, here we are. All right, so I think I'm gonna build it out this way. Here's the end right here. I guess I'll just bridge out like this. And then right on the end here, we're gonna place some lava. And then once this reaches the bottom, we'll put some water next to it and turn it into cobblestone. That way we can build all the way down to Y0. But I don't have any firework rockets, so I need to be extremely careful not to fall in here. Okay, I'm pretty sure the lava is at the bottom, so let's place some water right here. We can then collect our lava. And now comes the scary part. Let's grab all my leaves. And we're gonna use these to bridge out. Okay, this is the bottom right here. Oh my gosh. I hate this. And we'll go like that. Carefully go onto here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, I did it without dying. And now we just have to bridge out about 150 blocks. Okay, here we are. This is very scary. Now I just have to widen this area right here to be three blocks wide. This is where all the endermen will run into the farm. Okay, there we go. And now over here is where I'm gonna build a spawning platform. This is actually a super easy design and it's the same one that I use in my regular hardcore world. All right, we have this now. And now to just place some spawning blocks right here in the center. And this is where all the endermen will spawn. Let's see, do I have any torches with me? I don't think I do. Actually, hold on. I'm just gonna place some moss carpet on here temporarily. That way no enderman can spawn and accidentally kill me. Alright, now we have to start working on the collection system, and that's gonna go right over here. First, we have to build some steps going up to the killing chamber, and then some trap doors right here, some more trap doors right here, and then we have to build the walls around this, placing my two chests right here. This is so scary. And then right here in the center is the killing chamber. So I'm gonna place all my hoppers going into the chest like this. Okay, I'm making some good progress. This is very high stress though. Now on top of here, we need to place some double carpet. And then over here is where the endermite's gonna go. Okay, here we go. I have the farm basically entirely complete. We only have to add the endermites and then the enchanting table, but I made an area for it right here. So let's get that set up. We're gonna place the enchanting table right here and then all the books along the side like this. And let's just make sure it's level 30. Okay, it is. Now we just have to get an endermite. Wait a second, before we do that, let's rename this. What am I gonna name the endermite? XP generator. <laughs> kind of a stupid name, but doesn't really matter anyways. So now we have to go up here and we're gonna set up a little area for this endermite. I need some rails right here. And then I have to have my minecart and my name tag ready. Please, I really hope I don't have to get more. Come on, please. All right, last one. Ah, okay. Well, my luck was not so good. So we're gonna have to go to the main end island to get some more ender pearls. Come on, enderman friends. Let's start farming some endermen. <laughs> okay, is that it? I think it is. How many pearls did I get? Whoa, okay, I got two stacks of pearls. That's pretty good. Now, hopefully I'll be able to get an endermite with- Oh my gosh. Whoa, that was kind of scary. Oh, there's still some mad at me. This is scary. What if it teleports onto the bridge and knocks me off? Yeah, look, there's still endermen mad at me. Oh no. Oh my gosh. What do I do? Hello? Any angry endermen? This is bad. I hate being in the end with no elytra or firework rockets. It's terrifying. All right, it doesn't look like there's any endermen following me, so they should just despawn. But there are some spawning up here. Might be able to knock them into the void with knockback. There we go. Let's see, can I knock this guy away? There we go. Okay, we're good to go. Let's get my minecart and my name tag, and let's try to summon an endermite. 
Here he is. Okay. Name tag. Oh gosh. Go inside. Oh no. Um, this did not go to plan. Hello, Endermite friend. Come, follow me. Okay, we should be good now. Place. There we go. Okay, we got him in. That was much harder than I wanted it to be. But now we just have to roll him this way. And there we go. Now we can tear this whole contraption down. Okay, the Enderman farm should be all good to go. The only thing I have left to do is to remove all the carpet right there. And the Enderman should start spawning. I'm honestly pretty scared. As soon as I walk away from here, Enderman should start spawning and running over here. Let's see if it works. It's working. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at this. This is insane. I need to turn down my volume though. And there we go. Look at that. A working XP farm. Wow, my sword is not very good, but I think it is working. Okay, so first order of business is to get Sweeping Edge 3 and Sharpness 5 on my sword because this is going to go painfully slow. Once I had the XP farm up and running, I encountered a ton of issues. First, I forgot to put carpet on the hopper, so the XP was getting stuck in there. Second, I didn't bring enough lapis with me, so I quickly ran out. Wait, I only brought 12 lapis with me? What? No, there's no way. I did. Oh my gosh. And lastly, the Enderbite mysteriously died, so the farm completely stopped working. Oh no, what happened? The Endermite died. So I got to work fixing all these issues, and after two days... Okay, it took me way longer than expected to get this back up and running since I had to grind for some more emeralds to buy the name tag, but here it is. We have the XP generator version 2, and it also took me over two stacks of pearls to get this guy to spawn. But all I have to do now is tear all this down, and the Enderman should get mad. Ooh, I think it's working. <laughs> The XP farm was finally working, and I was able to do so much more enchanting. Alright, my armor is officially maxed out. I have protection 4, unbreaking 3, and mending on all of them. And then on my helmet, I have all the other enchantments. And on my boots, I also have everything else. The only thing that I'm missing is Swift Sneak 3 on my leggings, but we'll get that once we go to an ancient city later. So now my main focus is my sword, and I still haven't gotten anything good. Sharpness 4, please don't have knockback or fire aspect. Please. Okay, let's go! I think I should be able to combine all of these to be a perfect sword. And there we go. We'll have Unbreaking 3, Sweeping Edge 3, Sharpness 5, Looting 3, and Mending. And for me, this is my perfect sword since I don't like Fire Aspect or Knockback. So we just need to get a few more levels and I'll finally have a good sword. Okay, there's my sword. Now I also went ahead and got a perfect Fortune 3 pickaxe, a perfect Silk Touch pickaxe, and a perfect Silk Touch shovel. So I just need to get some better enchantments on my axe, I guess. And then I'll have everything almost perfect. Oh, and I also want to get Unbreaking 3 and Mending on my Elytra and my Shield. All right, so I have Mending and Unbreaking 3 on my shield now, and I also got Mending and Unbreaking 3 on my axe, and now I just need Mending and Unbreaking 3 on my elytra, and we should be all done with the enchanting. Oh, you know what? I still need to get Punch 2 on my bow, and maybe also Infinity, so I guess I'm not done just yet. Wow, okay, that is a pretty good bow. And there we go, I think I have the perfect bow now. Now I just have my elytra left to do, and I'll be done. All right, so there we have it. I got Unbreaking 3 and Mending. Let's add it to my elytra now. There we go. Now to just heal it up real quick, and there it is, and check it out. Here's my sword, here's my axe, here are my two pickaxes, my shovel, my bow, my elytra, and all of my armor. Everything is fully maxed out. So now we just have to pack up real quick, and I'm gonna bring my enchanting table along with me since I'll probably need it in the future. That was extremely successful. All right, I'm just gonna take a moment to empty out my inventory, and then we can start working on the next thing. And that's gonna be going to the nether to get netherite for all of my armor and tools. Since now that I have my enchantments all maxed out, it's the perfect time to get netherite on everything. All right, my inventory has been organized and I also rebuilt my enchanting setup over here. So now it's time to get some netherite. Now right now in this world I don't have any sand which means I don't have access to TNT. And I also have pretty limited amounts of string so I can't craft that many beds either. But I do have an idea and it only involves two string and also two pieces of wood. <laughs> it's gonna be to make a loom and to get a shepherd villager. Since once leveled up shepherd villagers can trade you beds. So I just have to reset this guy's trade until he gives me something good. I don't have any wool to sell you. Don't they have a different trade? Wait what? Can they only buy wool as their first trade? No, there's no way. Oh my gosh. Wait, okay, this actually might not work. I do not have that much wool to sell. Okay, there we go. You have to waste two emeralds to buy shears. So I'm gonna work to make some more emeralds and then we can unlock this guy's bed trade. All right, we should be able to unlock the next one now. What's gonna be his next level? Okay, nothing yet. Oh, but he does sell wool, which we can use to craft beds. So let's buy up a bunch of wool. Okay, I just leveled him up one more time and there we go. He trades beds. Okay, amazing. They are kind of expensive though, but I'll take what I can get. That's still a pretty good price. So now I just have to get even more emeralds and get even more beds. I want to get at least one full shulker box of beds. All right, a few days of trading later, and these are all the beds that I got. I don't want to waste any more time getting more, so let's just head to the nether and do this. Honestly, this should be a pretty good spot, so I'm just going to dig straight down from here, and we'll go until we reach ancient debris level. Oh no, there's lava. 
Oh my gosh, wait, I already found one. And it's two actually. Wow, what are the chances? All right, well, we have to go down two more blocks. There we go. Oh no, oh gosh. Oh, there's lava everywhere down here. What about in this direction? All right, this should be Y14 right here. And it looks like it's pretty clear of lava. So let's take, oh my, are you serious? <laughs> I can't believe this. I just found three on accident, basically. I'm gonna dig a long straight line going this way and then we can bust out our beds and then I'll go like this. Boom. All right, it looks like we don't have any ancient debris on this one. How is it that I found more ancient debris on accident than with this giant explosion? That doesn't make any sense. But here we go. We'll try again. Ooh. Also none over here. Let's try again right here. Wow, I still don't see any. Let's try again right here. There we go. And we now have five. Right now, that's enough for just one ingot. So we're going to have to keep searching. Okay, we have one more right there. Very nice. Okay, this is my last bed. So I need to make this one count. Please. Oh my gosh, there's nothing. So, plan B. That's gonna be mining in between two chunk borders. So apparently you have the highest chance of finding ancient debris in between two chunk borders. So I'm just gonna keep mining until I find some. Okay, I've managed to find 35 and I just need one more. My pickaxe is not liking this very much, so I'm hoping that I can find some soon. Oh my gosh, look at that. I've gone to all the biomes, I guess. That's kind of cool. I was not expecting to get that advancement underground. Oh my gosh, there we go. I found some. Okay, perfect. We finally have enough ancient debris to put netherite on all of my armor and tools. Let's pop this ancient debris into my furnace. And while we wait for that to smelt up, let's make a smithing table. Let's turn this all into netherite. There we go, nine ingots in total. Let's take off all my armor and we're gonna do that first. Helmets, chest plates, leggings, and boots. And as soon as I place this in, we'll get the advancement. Three, two, one. Nice. Cover me in debris. <laughs> but we still have my tools. Let's do my sword first, then my axe, then my fortune three pickaxe, then my silk touch pickaxe, and then my shovel. And look at that. We're fully kitted out. That is amazing. Now, what am I going to do next? Now that I have a full set of OP armor and tools, I think it's time to fight another boss, the wither. So let's head to the nether. Wait, let me make sure I have enough things. I need more food. One moment. Because <laughs> the last thing I want to do is be in the nether without any food. Let's grab some emeralds and buy some more golden carrots. Okay, that should be enough now. Okay. Okay, let's do this. So now that I'm here, I want to find a fortress that's within a soul sand valley, since those have the highest chance of spawning wither skeletons. And coupled with my looting three sword, it should make things go so much faster. Is this a bastion? Oh, it is. Let's see. Should I loot this? I mean, I do have pretty good armor, so let's check it out real quick. I see some brutes and boop. oh, we got some more netherite scraps, some iron and some gold, some magma cream, some arrows, a golden apple. Nice. That will come in handy. And soul speed three. Nice. Okay, that stuff should help me out with what I'm about to do. Oh, and more food. Amazing. I think this was definitely a good pit stop. Now, I don't think I want to loot any of the other chests because it's going to be a little too dangerous, but I'll take the golden apple and the two gold blocks. That's pretty good. So now let's keep searching. Okay, I've come across a soul sand valley and I think I'm going to gather up some of these bone blocks since that could be super useful in the future. And would you look at that, a fortress. Okay, but it looks like this fortress is basically fully inside of a soul sand valley and it's also very exposed. And look at that, we already have some wither skeletons. Okay, the hunt for wither skeleton skulls begins. Wow, the layout of this fortress is actually perfect for this. It's super exposed and it's all on flat terrain. This makes everything so nice. So hopefully it doesn't take too long to get some skulls. Oh, that came out of nowhere. Oh my God, I got one. Finally, I just got a second skull. Nice, we're at two out of three. Things are going pretty slow, but I do only need to get one more, which is not too bad. Hi, ah, I'm scared. Oh, we got one. Wait, two? Wait, what? Oh no, okay, we're at three now. <laughs> I got confused because one of the skeletons picked it up, but there we go. Should I try to get more than three so I can fight more than one wither at once? I don't know. I'm gonna stick around for a little bit longer and if I manage to get lucky, then I will. But if not, then we'll only fight one wither. But the wither in Java edition is so easy, so I should probably try to fight two at once. Let's stick around here for just a little bit longer and try to get three more skulls. I'm gonna put out all these fires so it's not too bright and hopefully that will help some more skeletons spawn. You know what? I'm gonna try to gather up a little bit of these blocks and try to make somewhat of a farm. Not going to be anything too fancy, but it's going to be a big area where skeletons can spawn. All right, I have a stack of bricks and let's see if I can make a little makeshift spawning platform. Okay, here's my makeshift spawning platform. Let's go all the way out over here now and see if anything spawns on it. I really hope this works. Okay, let's see. Is anything going to spawn? I don't think this is working very well. <laughs> it was worth a try, I guess. Ow. Oh, look at that. We have four now. Oh my gosh. Look at this. My spawning platform is working. No way. There's so many skeletons over here. Okay, so maybe I just wasn't doing it right at the start. Maybe I was still too close or something, but let's kill all these blazes first so they don't get in my way. And there's so many skeletons here. One of these has to drop me a skull, right? I'm very sad, but it's fine. I'm having a good time killing all these mobs. Wait, what? 
When did I get a fifth skull? I didn't even see that. Hopefully I can go back and show you where I got it when I'm editing. And this is where I found the fifth skull. It's kind of hard to tell, but you can see it go into my inventory. And it looks like my platform worked again. Wow, look at that. Why is it just working all of a sudden? That's so weird. All right, come on. One more skull, please. I got it. That did not take that long at all. But now that I have all six skulls, it's time to fight the wither. And I'm not really sure where I want to fight the wither. After the long trip home, I've decided where I want to fight the wither. I normally do it on the nether roof, but if I build a portal on the roof and it accidentally takes me above ground, then that's the challenge over. So instead, I'm just going to fight it in the caves. And I think I know the perfect spot. It's just going to be right down here on top of all the obsidian. I just really hope it doesn't fly up here and destroy my house. Wait a minute. Should I try to bring these iron golems with me? That'd be kind of cool. Let's see. How can I bring these guys down here. Iron golems don't take fall damage, so I can just push them off the edge. There we go. Actually, you know what? This might not be a good idea. Since these are naturally spawned iron golems, if I accidentally hit one, then it's gonna start attacking me. So I think I'm gonna go without the iron golems. I'm so sorry. Let's do this. We're gonna place down one and two. Okay, here we go. One and two. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I'm doing this. Let's run away for the explosion real quick. All right. Come here, Wither. Let's fight them both at once. I'm gonna try to kill them both at once and not just single out one, just to make it a little bit harder for myself. All my bow shots are missing, why? Okay, I've gotten one down to half health. Let's get the other one down to half health. Come on, this is really hard. Okay, they're both down to half health. There's a creeper! Whoa, come on. <laughs> oh my gosh, come on. This is so chaotic. I'm getting closer. Oh, it's launching me super high up. Okay, one's almost dead. We got one dead. And two dead. Oh God, I need the golden apple. Ooh, that was very intense. <laughs> My heart is racing and I got kind of close to dying there at the end. So I just ate that golden apple just to be safe. And I have wither two for 20 seconds. So I need to make sure I don't die real quick. Let's just stand around for a second and keep eating. I can't believe a creeper just came into the mix and tried to blow me up. <laughs> that's so annoying, but I did it. I killed two withers at once and that's two of the three bosses complete. Wait a minute. If I want to make some beacons, I'm going to need glass. How can I get glass in this world? Maybe I can use my librarians. Um, this one's not selling any glass, but maybe Maybe this one will once I level him up. So let's try to get this one leveled up and see if I can buy some glass. Because without villagers, I'm pretty sure it's impossible to get glass down here. So let's grab my books, my farm items, and trade with my villagers to get some emeralds. Okay, the day number is very nice, and I'm going to be able to level this guy up. Let's see what he trades next. Please be books. Okay, it's books. Three books for one emerald, though. Oh my gosh. I'm going to become poor. Okay, we leveled him up once again. Let's see now. Hopefully something good. Glass, finally. Oh my gosh. Check it out. I finally have a glass trade. But let's find some obsidian and turn these into beacons. There we go. We got two beacons. Now, the only problem is going to be getting enough materials to power these things. How am I going to do that? I really don't have that much iron. I don't have that much gold either, but I think I have an idea and that's going to be to make an iron farm since I do have some villagers now, so it shouldn't be too difficult. And I mean, I already know that it works because look, there's iron golems already spawning. So I'm just going to have to craft up a few more beds and then harvest up some food to get the villagers to breed. Okay, villagers, here you go. Wait, did I just see a baby? Oh, wait, there's two of them. Okay, it worked. Nice. As I wait for these two villagers to grow up, let's start building the iron farm. I'm going to need a bunch of building blocks. Oh, I'm also going to need a name tag since we're going to have to name tag a zombie and a name tag. Now we have to find a pretty big area to build this iron farm, but down here in this cave should be perfect. All right, let's find the center right here. This should be good. And let's go up 15 blocks now. All right, 15. This is where our zombie is going to stand. All right, now to build the villager areas. All right, so we have all three villager paws as well as the zombie area in the center sectioned off. And now to just build the iron golem spawning platform on top. Okay, here it is. Now we just have to put fences around all of this and it's done. Let's get all of our wood, craft up some fences and add them to the farm. Okay, that's all done. Now we just have to add the water. Oh my gosh, look at that. A zombie spawned up here. That is literally perfect. I can't believe that. Okay, wow, that could not have been more perfect to be honest. Let's just clear all this out right here and then we'll name tag him. The farm is entirely complete. The only thing I have left to do is add the villagers. Now I'm just gonna have to build a small platform for these villagers to get moved in and we're good to go. All right, let's go see if these villagers are grown up yet. Okay, it doesn't look like it, but we do have four new villagers, but this might actually be a good chance to take one while they're sleeping. I have an idea. Let's go like this. So one of them wants to come. Aha, there we go. <laughs> I do want to craft up two more boats though. And let's see if we can lure one more villager. All right, let's get this one moved in now. I'm just going to have to carefully navigate over here and drop down onto this. I placed down his bed. Now let's get rid of him like this. And there we go. He's sleeping. Okay. All right, let's get our second villager moved in and he should go right in. Perfect. Here's
is villager number three. And the only problem with this one is that we're gonna have to wait for him to grow up since we can't turn the farm on with a baby villager. We'll let him out of the boat and there he goes. I have all the villagers moved in. Oh, you know what? There actually is one more thing that I have to do and that's to add the iron golem killing chamber. But luckily it's not too complicated to build. It's just gonna be a nice big chamber down here and I'll have to build up the walls, place down signs like this. And the last step is to place lava like this. There we go. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Hopefully it flows to all the corners. Oh, it doesn't. So we are going to need more than just one block of lava. And there we go. The collection system is all done. Now we're just going to have to put a double chest right there and we'll soon be ready to turn the iron farm on. And I only have enough iron to make one more hopper, but that's fine because we are making an iron farm after all. So I'll be able to get as many hoppers as I want. All right. Double chest is going to go right here. And there we go. The iron farm should be done and ready to go. Let's go see if our baby villager has grown up yet. Okay, he is. So that means the farm is ready to go. And as soon as we break these blocks right here, we should be good to go. Okay, it looks like the villagers are scared. And look at that. Already, immediately, some iron golems respawning. Let's see. Yep, check it out. The iron farm is producing iron. So I guess I'm just gonna have to wait around here for a little bit longer, get enough iron to complete the farm down here. And then it'll be time to find an ancient city. Since it's already day 72, and I'm quickly running out of time to prepare to fight the warden. So we have to start getting things done pretty quickly here. Okay, a few days have passed and the iron farm, oh my, oh my. Okay, I forgot to put my elytra on. <laughs> but the iron farm is all complete down here and it's already producing me tons of iron. This is just from a few minutes. But now that I have the iron farm all done, it's time to go find an ancient city. This iron farm is in the spawn chunk, so it'll keep running while we're gone. I don't really know how I'm gonna find an ancient city, but I guess I'll just run around, maybe dig through some walls and hope that I get lucky. So before we go, let's make sure to stock up on some food. Hello, thank you very much. I have almost two snacks now, which is perfect. And I'm also gonna pop in here and take this anvil with me. Since I'm hoping to find Swift Stink 3 at the Ancient City, and that way I'll be able to have an anvil to put it on right away. And I think that's everything, so let's get going. I really hope this doesn't take too long, because I only have 25 days left to go, and I'm nowhere near ready to fight the Warden. So we still have quite a bit of work to do. This is definitely going to take a while. I'll be back once I find some Deep Dark. Okay, here's the progress so far. I got tired of exploring in the cave, so I've just been digging in a straight line for a super long time. But I think I've come across something promising. You see that? There's deep dark next to me. Looks like it's up in this direction. I just really hope there's no shriekers. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I got sneak 100. Yeah, look at this. I found some deep dark. Now, this doesn't guarantee that there's an ancient city, but at least I know I'm in the right place. So I'm just gonna look around here for a little bit and see if I can find anything. Oh, look at that. Some diamonds. Oh, also, since I've been digging in a straight line for so long, look at all the diamonds that I I found. It's actually insane. Since coupled with Fortune 3, I'm getting tons of diamonds now. If only I would have done this earlier. I'm not sure if there's anything around here, so I'm gonna head back to my tunnel and keep digging. I really hope I find something soon. Oh my gosh, look at this. There's even more diamonds? I can't believe it. I'm almost at two stacks. I never thought that I would be complaining about finding too many diamonds. Oh my. There's a shrieker over here. Does that mean I'm close to an ancient city? I gotta find this thing and turn it off. Yeah, here it is. Okay, let's break it real quick. Oh my gosh. It looks like this is just a lava pool, so I'm gonna keep digging. But we are in the deep dark, and that's super promising. Okay, I seem to have come across a pretty big cave. Let's see what's around here. Maybe I'll be able to find something? I don't know. There is deep dark everywhere, and there's a shrieker right here too. Let's make sure to get rid of this thing. And it looks like the deep dark ends right here. Oh my gosh, more diamonds. I'm at over two stacks now. Oh, and there's more over here. Oh my gosh. All right, it looks like this cave does come to a dead end. So I guess I'll just keep mining in a straight line. This is proving to be much more difficult than I expected. All right, let's keep mining in a straight line. All right, looks like we have a small cave here. Let's just check it out. I don't see any deep dark though, so this might not lead to anything. Oh wait, there is deep dark. I need to be careful I don't set off any shriekers. Okay, it looks like this might be another dead end. Wait, I'm lost. Is this where I came from? Oh my, what? Look at this. Okay, well, um, here's the ancient city, I guess. <laughs> I did not expect to find this in here. Let's see what's inside this chest. When I open it though it's gonna set off these shriekers and i think a warden's gonna spawn okay uh nothing good run away oh there's a warden summoning Hello. Oh my gosh. Okay, I've managed to escape from the warden and let's see if I can find anything else good over here. Oh, we finally got a good hoe. That's gonna be very useful to get rid of all those shriekers. And we have a swift sneak one book. I'm just gonna grab it just in case we don't find anything better, but let's keep searching. All right, looks like we just have one shrieker. Please don't activate. Oh no. Okay, 
Let's search uh, Swift Snake 1 again. Uh, Swift Snake 2. Let's grab that instead. There's more Warden spawning. Oh my gosh. This is really bad. We have another chest right here. Ooh, and look at that. I finally found an enchanted golden apple. But what I really want right now is Swift Snake 3. Oh my gosh. I found one, but there is another Warden spawning. So let's run away. Oh, there's like three Wardens around here. I'm going to make my way to safety over here, away from any Shriekers and Wardens. And let's bust out my anvil, take my leggings, and add Swift Snake 3 to it. Now look at this. Finally. Oh, this is so nice. This is going to help me loot way faster and way safer. But now that I have Swift Snake 3, I'm just on the hunt for some more enchanted golden apples. And so far, I've only found one, but I'm hoping to find at least a few more in here. What in the heck is going on here? This warden looks very confused. Hello, friend. Oh, he doesn't even know I'm here. I am going to back away, though, because I don't want to risk it. But it looks like that warden will just be there forever. I just did one more tour of the city, and it looks like I've looted every single chest. And this is actually going to be a huge problem, since I definitely need more than one enchanted golden apple to fight the warden. So it looks like we're going to have to go find another ancient city. This one was already extremely difficult to find, so I don't know how lucky I'm going to get again. But I guess I'm just going to have to do the same thing as before and dig in a straight line until I eventually find one. Ooh, is that deep dark over there? Wait, no. Is that really? Is that a city? Guys, that was extremely easy to find. I only had to dig like another thousand blocks. What the heck? I can't believe this. This is our second ancient city. Now, I really hope there's some more enchanted golden apples in here. Oh my gosh, look at it. It's amazing. Okay, I have three enchanted golden apples now, and I also have three and a half stacks of diamonds. That's kind of insane, but let's see if I can find any more enchanted golden apples. Hmm, two shriekers. I think I'm just gonna open the chest. Oh, look at that. There's two more. Let's get rid of these guys. Let's run away. Okay, I have five enchanted golden apples now. That should definitely be enough to fight a warden. Okay, we have six now. Amazing. And two more in here. Oh my gosh. I have eight now. That is way more than I could have asked for. And I think those were actually the last two chests. After searching around for a bit longer, it looks like every single chest has been looted. So I think it's time to head home. I'm many thousands of blocks away from home though, so I think my best bet is going to be to go through the nether. But I didn't bring a flint and steel with me, so I'm going to have to find some wood. And it looks like there's some right here, which is perfect. And that's enough to make a crafting table and then a furnace. And then I can smelt up some of this iron. I only need one piece though, so this should be fine. And then we can use that to craft a flint and steel. All right, and now I just have to find some obsidian. I think I've seen plenty of lava around here. Yeah, there's some right up there. Nice. So I'm just going to build a little speedrunner portal. I can't believe I still remember how to do this. <laughs> Look at me go. That was so fast. Okay, where am I? I just checked my coordinates and I'm only about 800 blocks away from home. So it shouldn't take too long to find my way back. And here we are. Let's go check and see how the iron farm is doing. Okay, it looks like it's still running. That's a good sign. And look at that. That's quite a bit of iron. That's super good. I do need to go back to my chest though and empty out my inventory real quick and also sleep. After collecting all the iron from the iron farm, I knew I wouldn't have enough resource blocks to make a full powered beacon. So I started smelting up some of my gold and iron and then turned to my diamonds. All right, let's see. How many diamond blocks can I craft up? with this. I can craft up 25 diamond blocks. So that means we have more than two stacks of resource blocks now. So I just have about 36 to go. And I still have all this iron and all this gold that's smelting up too. So we just might have enough. I don't want to use all this gold though, since I do want to turn some of it into golden apples. I think 10 should be fine. There we go. So we have 10 golden apples and eight enchanted golden apples. That should be more than enough to fight the warden. Okay, everything is done smelting. And I also went ahead and traded with my villagers to get some extra emeralds. And I'm short just two blocks. And that should be be extremely easy to get. So I'm just down here at the iron farm waiting for it to produce some more iron. Okay. And there we go. I finally have enough iron. I can make a max powered beacon now. That's going to be extremely useful in my fight against the warden. I know it's probably not at all necessary, but I still feel like having a resistance to beacon is going to be really helpful. So let's craft up our remaining two blocks. And there we go. That's enough for a full powered beacon. But now the only question is where am I going to fight the warden? And since I'm down here in the caves, that leaves me with one big problem. Since if you want to make a beacon, you have to have access to the sky. And if you remember, in this world, if I see the sky, even for a split second, I instantly get killed. So that means I can't build a beacon in the overworld. So instead, I'm going to have to do it in the nether or the end. But getting a warden to the end is super challenging, so I'm just going to have to do it in the nether instead. And I think that should work out pretty good. But before we set up the beacon, I think I want to do a few more things to prepare. And one of those is going to be crafting some potions. Ideally, strength two and regeneration. I already have one regeneration potion, but I need some nether wart if I want to craft up some strength potions. So I have to head 
back to the fortress. And now I need to find some nether wart. There it is. I found some. Okay, I'm finally back home. Let's grab some glass bottles, fill them up with water, and turn these into some awkward potions. Now that I have that, I can turn them into strength potions, and then into strength two potions. Okay, there we go. Three strength two potions. And to craft up potions of regeneration, I'm gonna need to get some gas tears. And do I even have any? Let's see. Oh, I don't. Well, it's off to the nether once again, and I guess I'll try to kill some ghasts. I hear a ghast, but I don't see it. Oh, I see one. I see one. Okay. Boom. I see a gas tier. Nice. Wait, do I? No, that was just XP. Ah, oh, okay. No gas tiers for that one, sadly. All right, let's fly back over here. Wait, I just heard a gas. Oh my gosh, look at this. And I can kill it with looting too. Look at that. And there we go. I got two gas tiers. That could not have been more perfect. All right, now that I have that, let's fly back home and craft up some potions of regeneration. And then we'll turn them into regeneration too. And then I'm also going to make these splash potions since that way it'll be easier to use them when I'm fighting the warden. And then I'm going to do the same thing for two of these strength potions and one of these regeneration potions. And I know this is probably overkill, but it's best to be prepared. And I think this is everything that I need. So it's time to go build the setup to kill the warden. First, I'm going to head back to that portal that leads to the ancient city. And I'm pretty sure I remember where it is. It's going to be somewhere over in this direction. Okay, yeah, there it is. Okay, now that's probably not the best place for the warden to come out of. So I'm going to have to relocate the portal. Okay, here's our ancient city. But now I need to find a shrieker that's still intact. Okay, there's one right here. So I'm going to build my portal probably somewhere right here. There we go. Let's see where we end up. Is this the same portal? Oh, no, it's not. But it's still in a terrible place. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to build a platform around this since I don't want to have to fight the warden next to all this lava. That's gonna be a huge danger. So let's gather up a bunch of blocks and then use these to build a platform around the portal. Oh wait, I should use soul sand since that way the warden gets slowed down and I'll have soul speed three. That might be a better idea. Once I was all out of soul sand, I made my way over to a soul sand valley and filled up two shulker boxes of soul sand, which was enough to cover this entire area with soul sand. Then once I was done with the floor on day 93, I went back home to grab some more food then went back to finish the platform. I decided to add a wall around the entire thing, since that way the warden couldn't knock me into lava. And once I was done with the platform, I went home for some final preparations. All right, quite a few days have passed, and I managed to build this. A giant square in the nether, and this is going to be my arena to fight the warden. It's also all covered in soul sand, which should give me a huge advantage with soul speed 3. That means I'll be able to run super quick, but the warden should be slowed down a lot. And also in this time, I went home and did some last minute preparations. I got some more food, turned my instant health potion, into splash potions and crafted some night vision potions to hopefully see a bit better. But I'm not done with all the preparations yet because we still have to build this beacon. And I think I'm just going to build it right next to the portal over here. I really hope I did the math correctly and I actually have enough blocks. All right, that's the first layer done. Let's do this one. That's the second layer done. Now for layer number three. Wait, oh, this thing is not, it's not big enough. There we go. And now to add all the diamonds on top. And there it is. I cannot believe how many diamonds we use for this. But all I have left to do is pillar all the way up here now. That way I can clear a path for the beacon beam. All right, we should be all almost at bedrock. There it is. I just have to make sure there's nothing else behind this bedrock. Yeah, just like that. And the beacon beam should be clear to go now. Luckily, beacons can pass through bedrock, so I'm not gonna have to break any holes, which is good because I don't have any TNT to do so. All right, there's our path all the way up to bedrock. Let's see if it works. There it is. Wait, why did I not get the advancements? Is it because all these blocks are different? I don't know. Okay, well, that's fine because the beacon still works. Let's grab an iron ingot now and let's put resistance two on it. And now that means we're ready to fight the warden. I am so terrified. Wait, hold on. I need to make sure to not have my elytra on before I do that. <laughs> that would be the easiest way to die. All right, we have some shriekers right here. So let's summon a warden. I don't think it's gonna summon first try because we haven't done one in a while. Okay, here it is. Is it summoning? Okay, it is. Um, let's splash some night vision. There we go. Now I can see fairly good. Okay, where is he? Oh, he's going somewhere else. Oh, there's a bunch of zombified piglin in here. Oh, he's gonna get distracted, isn't he? I think he's gonna get angry at these guys first. Oh, yep. Okay, we're gonna have to wait for him to kill these pigmen first. Okay, I think it might be working now. Come on, friend. I have to lure him through the portal. And I don't want to get him angry before he's in the nether, because then it's gonna be really hard to fight him. Okay, here he comes. We're super close to the portal. Okay, I'm gonna go like this. And he should just walk right through, right? Okay, and... There he goes. Okay, it worked. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, here we are in the nether. Um, am I ready to fight him? I don't know. Now, before I fight him, I just want to make sure that he gets slowed down on the soul sand. Okay, he definitely does. I'm going to go all the way over here now, and I'm going to splash my potions. We're going to do regeneration and strength, and I'm going to get everything else out here. We're going to splash one more night vision just to be safe. Okay, here we go. I'm going to gapple up first. Okay, bring it on, warden. Here we go. Oh, he does a lot of damage. Let's eat a god apple. Oh. Wait, I, I'm like not able to hit him. What's going on? Okay, okay, okay. Holy crap. This is a lot harder than I remember. Oh, 
Okay. I need to make sure to outmaneuver him. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I was getting worried there for a second. He was doing a ton of damage and I thought I wasn't gonna be able to beat him, but we did it. I defeated the warden. Oh my gosh, that was insane. Oh, my heart is still pounding, but you know what? We still have four enchanted golden apples. So I think we should fight a second warden. <laughs> Let's just do it. <laughs> I did fight two withers. So I think it's only fair that I fight two wardens. Not two wardens at the same time though, cause that would be way too difficult. All right, here's our friend. Follow me into the portal. Why am I doing this? It's like I'm trying to die. Okay, this one is going a lot faster. And and boom. Here we go. Warden number two. Okay, our warden friend is here. He's getting angry at these guys. So I'm just gonna run over here. I'm gonna splash my strength potion and then regeneration. We'll do one more night vision to be safe. I'm gonna gapple up and here we go. All right, warden number two. Bring it on. This time I'm gonna try to kill this guy a lot better than the last one. Okay, it's a lot of uh, health there. Ouch, that hurt. God, the sonic boom does so much damage. Ooh. Oh, just in the nick of time. Oh no. Oh. Oh my gosh, okay. It seems like that one went a lot faster. I can't believe I did that, but there we go. I killed two wardens in a caves only world. That was quite the insane challenge and look at my armor. Oh my gosh, that does so much damage to your armor. I can't believe it, but you know what? I killed two withers, I killed two wardens. So I need to kill two ender dragons now. I did already kill one. So we're gonna have to get some gas tears and respawn the dragon, which shouldn't be too difficult. It was actually insanely difficult. I got my first gas pretty easily. All right, let's kill it with looting. Boom, there we go. I got two gas tiers from that, but for some reason, every single ghast I found after that made it impossible to get gas tiers from, since they were all above lava and the items would burn if I killed it. No, why are you down there? <laughs> oh my God, this is actually a disaster. This is a disaster. <laughs> it's a disaster, guys. <laughs> oh, 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 here it comes, here it comes. Please just die and everything fell in the lava. Okay, why is this so hard? <laughs> but after struggling for so many days, wait, I hear one. There it is, it's up here. And it's not above lava this time. I wanna try to kill it with looting three. Oh my gosh. Wait, no, oh, I'm so close. Okay, here it comes. Did I get something? I did, oh my gosh, finally. I finally have four gas tiers. Wow, that took way longer than it should have. But we're all the way up to day 98 now, so I'm gonna have to work fast. We need to get this dragon respawned and killed before day 100. Look at that, there's another one right here too. Look, I have six now, perfect. Why is it that once I have enough, they just start spawning all the time? Okay, let's head home real quick. And I'm gonna need four ender pearls to turn into four eyes of ender. Okay, and there we go, four end crystals. We have everything, let's go do this. Wait a minute, I think I wanna bring one extra thing. and it's something that I haven't had access to these entire 100 days. So I think it'll be pretty cool to bring it. And that is some firework rockets. I wasn't sure if I was gonna need this paper earlier on, but we are on day 99, so we might as well craft up a bunch of these. There we go. Look at that, amazing. And this will make fighting the dragon and taking out the towers way easier. Wait a minute, remember this deep slate coal? Now that I have silk touch, I can mine it up. Craziness. Okay, let's keep going. All right. Here we go. The dragon is respawning. I can't believe I'm about to complete two of every single boss in this world. That is crazy. There it is. All right, let's fly up here now. Wow, this is actually so nice. Let's get rid of all the towers. This is gonna be so easy now. The only thing holding me back is my aim. We only have one left and it's this one right here. Let's see, can I go like this? Oh my gosh, it's amazing. <laughs> all right, all the towers are taken out. Now we just have to kill the dragon and it's perching already. Nice, do some damage. Nice, it's going pretty good so far. This is honestly a lot easier than the first time. And I feel like my bow skills have drastically improved during this challenge. Hey, it's perching once again. Let's do some damage. Oh, that is a ton of damage. Look at that. This might be it right here. Whoa, 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 what the? What was that? Wait, what? What just happened? I'm so glad I had my elytra there. I was down inside the fountain. I don't know what happened. All right, let's try to do some damage with my bow again, I guess. Okay, it's perching once again. Let's see if I can do some damage. Okay, I'm missing almost every single shot. That's amazing. Okay, we're, get we're getting close. It's the last one right here. I'm gonna do it with my fist. Three, two, one. Oh, there we go. <laughs> 
The dragon is defeated. I can't believe it, guys. We defeated two of every boss in this world. That is crazy. This was quite the challenge, guys. Hello, villagers. Oh, looks like they're going to sleep. So it'll be day 100 very soon. You know what? These are the two skull catalysts that I got from killing the warden. So let's put them right here. Um, Let's see. Oh, I also have an extra beacon too. And this will be our little shrine of all the mobs that we killed. Two wardens, two ender dragons, and two withers. But now that I have my little shrine complete, it's time to sleep to bring on day 100. We're gonna do it. There we go. It's finally day 100. I can't believe it, guys. This was such a fun challenge. And we actually accomplished so much more than I expected in this world. And I feel like there's still so much more that we can do. So if you want to see 200 days, let me know in the comments. But that's gonna be all for me today, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. Oh, gosh.